6-APB is a stimulant and intactogen with a short history of use. It's very similar to MDA in terms of structure, and its effects are compared to those of MDA and MDMA. Due to its short history and a lack of reports, little is known about its safety. The drug's positive effects include stimulation, an increase in empathy, mood lift, euphoria, enhanced tactile perception, greater music appreciation, greater creativity, and some closed and open eye visuals. Among its negative effects are increased blood pressure, increased heart rate, tremors, anxiety, confusion, jaw tension, nausea, dehydration, sweating, insomnia, and headache. Six APB's effects are considered very similar to those of MDMA, though it tends to have greater visual effects, a more psychedelic feel, and a longer duration. Some people claim it provides more energy than MDMA, while others say it isn't as stimulating. Orally, it lasts for 6 to 12 hours and has an onset of 45 to 90 minutes. 6-APB is a phenethylamine and amphetamine that's structurally similar to MDA. A furan ring has replaced MDA's methylene dioxy functional group, resulting in a benzofuran group. It's a reuptake inhibitor for serotonin serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. It also appears to be a releasing agent. 6-APB is an agonist for some serotonin receptors, primarily 5-HT2B and 5-HT2C. It also has a high affinity for the alpha-2C adrenergic receptor. A team, including David Nichols, synthesized the drug in 1993 while looking for non-neurotoxic MDMA-like substances. It began appearing in the UK and Europe generally in 2010. It appeared elsewhere around the world around the same time. 6-APB was most popular in the UK around 2011 and 2012, and it has been used to a smaller extent elsewhere. It can still be found in the research chemical market, but it's not a top drug in that category. 6-APB is nearly always used orally. A light dose is 40 to 80 milligrams, a common dose is 80 to 100 milligrams, and a strong dose is over 100 milligrams. There is some variation in the reported doses, but most people report the ideal dose being between 60 and 120 milligrams. The substance is uncontrolled in the U.S., but it could potentially be viewed as an illegal MDA analog when sold for human consumption. It is controlled in some states, including Florida, Louisiana, and Minnesota. 6-APB is also controlled in Germany, Portugal, Sweden, Italy, and the U.K. Because of how little we know about the drug, it's wise to take 6-APB at the lowest possible dose, as infrequently as possible, and without combinations. At a common dose, 6-APB doesn't appear to be acutely dangerous for a healthy person. Chronic use could come with health issues, one of which is cardiovascular toxicity, something regular 5-HT2B agonism may cause. There are a few cases of severe acute physical and psychological health issues associated with the use of 6-APB combined with other drugs, suggesting 6-APB could be acutely dangerous, but is significantly more likely to be so when combined with other drugs. Drugs in the stimulant and psychedelic categories may be particularly troublesome, as could MAOIs and tramadol. You should avoid impulsive redosing due to safety issues and the extended sleep deprivation that is likely to appear. Acute overdoses can come with paranoia, anxiety, headache, agitation, and hypertension capable of leading to hypertensive crisis. If you have any questions about 6-APB, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Support on Patreon is greatly appreciated, so if you'd like to contribute, you can head to patreon.com slash the drug classroom. You can also contribute through YouTube, PayPal, or Bitcoin using the addresses and links in the description. You can connect with me on Twitter at Seth A. Fitzgerald and via email at seth at the drug classroom.com. More information and links to references can be found on the TDC website using the link below.